Pantry and today I'm going to make keto friendly deviled eggs and what I mean by that is um, a couple different things. I've made this recipe for you guys before but I wanted to make it again for you because this time a couple of the ingredients are a little bit different. So um, I've got my cream cheese is softened to room temperature. I've boiled up four eggs because it's just me. So um, eight deviled eggs is more than enough uh, because that's what this is gonna make. So I'm gonna open up my cream cheese and you're like cream cheese? Trust me when I tell you, if you put cream cheese in your deviled eggs, your family will thank you and you will be the one that they request to bring the deviled eggs to any gathering. So I'm just saying. And then I have uh, one green onion that I chopped up pretty fine. I have one jalapeno that I've semi-seeded. It's not really spicy at all. And some cilantro. Now I say that and I've got a little back heat coming in, but I'm gonna add some organic red pepper flakes as well and some organic um, apple cider vinegar. Now, before when I did this recipe, I believe that I used red wine vinegar, but now I use apple cider vinegar whenever I can. When I have water, lemon water, I put a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar in it as well. That helps, you know, your gut health. Um, it just helps a lot of things. So. If you guys are on this ketogenic journey uh, with me, let me know in the comment section. So I've got one of the egg trays, but I'm gonna use a different bowl because the egg tray, or the, not a different bowl, but a different container. The one that comes with these egg trays is pretty big and my refrigerator is pretty full of produce. So, so what I like to do, you know, I should bring you in close, shouldn't I? Okay, I'm gonna bring you in close. I'm gonna discuss a little bit too about the mayonnaise. Now this mayonnaise, if you look at your mayonnaise on the back, it is, you know, it'll say avocado or olive oil. And you look and it'll say uh, canola oil, olive oil, it'll have safflower oil. It might have three different oils in it and sugar. This has absolutely no other oil other than avocado oil and whole organic eggs. Um, distilled white vinegar, organic mustard, organic vinegar, everything's organic in here. There's no sugar and it's all made from avocado oil. And it's, let me just tell you, it's delicious. When this is gone, I'm gonna make uh, some mayonnaise for you so you can do your own at home and know that it's all good, <laughs> okay? So that's just to kind of um, loosen up our mixture. So let me bring you in and we'll get started on this keto deviled egg. Oh my gosh, they're so good. And they're very filling because they're kind of a high fat. I mean, you've got the fat from the egg, which is good fat. You got the fat from the cheese and the mayonnaise, and then it balances out with the protein. So it makes it moderate protein compared to the fat ratio. So very good for a ketogenic diet. All right. Okay on. guys. So <laughs> you're going to, um, uh, this video is going to be pieced together a little bit differently. I went to uh, render it and put the pieces together and this section was missing from the video, but the rest of the video is intact. So I'm redoing this part for you so you can see how I put it together, um, which it's not a bad thing because the deviled eggs I made yesterday are already gone. So now I can make some to have for a really nice ketogenic snack. So again, I'm using the mayonnaise that is made strictly from olive oil, or not olive oil, avocado oil. No other oil fillers, everything's organic. Um, I'm gonna add some salt. And these are the egg yolks of four eggs. Some black pepper, love black pepper. And I gotta grab my cream cheese. And I've already cut up my jalapeno, my um, cilantro, and my green onion. So I wanted it a little bit spicier than they were yesterday, and I have a really good idea, but that's gonna come up in a future video. I will show you how to kick them up and make them spicy, because the cool of the mayonnaise and the cream cheese really um, 
kind of cuts that spice. So I'm using a third of a block of cream cheese, which has been softened to room temperature perfectly. And that'll go. Okay, and now I'm gonna start kind of smashing that around. And to help it along, that's where the mayonnaise comes in. So, and the um, apple cider vinegar. So I have organic apple cider vinegar. We're gonna put about a teaspoon of that in there. It's also got great health benefits. And I ended up using four tablespoons of mayonnaise for yesterday's recipe. So that's about where I'm going for right now. And we'll set that aside. And you just get to mix in. Once you get it where you feel like you've got a pretty good consistency, then you can start adding your aromatics and your peppers. Oh, this makes my mouth water. Sorry, hopefully you're in, you can see this because these are good. These would be really good with crumbled bacon, but there's always next time. I've got a couple other deviled egg recipes and egg salad recipes for you that are all keto friendly. Okay, let's get some cilantro and I'm saving some cilantro for garnish. And some cilantro, that's probably two heaping tablespoons. I want all of my green onions and that's, um, and then I've got my jalapenos and save, I saved the jalapeno that I diced really small. I saved that for garnish as well. And then at this point, you just make a judgment call if you feel like it's loose enough or if you need a little bit more because every egg yolk is going to be different in, in volume and as well as the mayonnaise. And I think I actually want a little bit more mayonnaise, so I'm gonna grab that. Just a tiny bit. Not enough, Not un probably doesn't even really make a difference, but it's making me feel better. All right. And then I'm going to stuff these and, mm. you always wanna taste it, make sure you got the right amount of everything. I think it's perfect. Maybe a little bit more salt and cracked pep black pepper. And I can take my clean spoon and get ready to load up my eggs. And these are just so hearty and beautiful. You can really stack them high. Now you could, if you wanted to, get a pastry bag. And I just don't think they're any fancier. These are, these are pretty rustic. And once you get the garnish on there, nobody would see any fancy piping anyway. So, so I just load every egg up just like that. And if there's extra filling, then we go back and add some more. It looks like we might have a little bit of extra here today. Not much though. We've got a couple of eggs that are a little bit shy. We'll load those right on up. So they're all getting about the same amount of lovely egg mixture. I'm telling you, your family is going to love this. If you haven't already made these, because I did, like I said, I'm, I've made this on my channel before using maybe ingredients that weren't quite as keto friendly, but look at that. Pretty amazing. And then I just garnish them up like so. A little bit of cilantro. Not too much, you know, because we're going to put the other stuff on there too. I like to evenly distribute it though. It's 
kind of my way of being picky. Same with the um, jalapeno dice. I want two or three on each one. So usually I like three. <laughs> I don't know why, but there you go. Get these on there. Um, and just so we don't waste them, we'll put the rest. And there it is with some red pepper flakes to let everybody know that it could be spicy, but they're really not. They're, um, honestly, the, the jalapenos that I got were really mild jalapenos. But like I said, if you want a, if you want a version that makes them a little bit spicier, or maybe your jalapenos are spicy, um, leave me a comment in the comment section and I'll be sure and make it for you. All right, guys, enjoy the rest of the video. Okay, guys, oh, that looks so good. Okay, I'm gonna pick the, the homeliest one. Mm, I don't know that there is one that's homely. <laughs> oh, goodness, and I'm only gonna take one bite because we'll be here a while if I don't. Okay, so in my opinion, an hors d'oeuvre uh, or even for a side, like this can, is going to be a side dish um, next to a meal, but one to three bites is the perfect hors d'oeuvre size. So somebody can actually pick this up and have it. These would be great for your Memorial Day weekend. Um, and if you're doing keto or you know somebody that's doing keto, you can always let them know that they're keto friendly. Mm. Mmm, so creamy and delicious. I'm just gonna tell you, they're not spicy. I would actually like a little more spice, but we're gonna have it just like this and we'll introduce the spice slowly. I'm gonna have to use some hotter jalapenos next time. <laughs> All right, guys, oh, I said I wasn't gonna take another bite, so. Guys, I hope it inspires you to make these. And if you've made these before or you watched my other video, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you'd like to see next. And I can't wait to bring you some more delicious, healthy fat recipes. Healthy, I should say healthy fat filled recipes with moderate protein and very low carb. So I'm trying to stay under 20 carbs a day. So far, it's been a challenge, but I'm very, very close. So, you know, it's um, a learning curve. And carbs hide in all kinds of stuff. All right, see you next time. Bye. Don't forget to check the links below and um, you can check out the Tupperware, the new Tupperware egg holders. Thank you.